This is Price Mixing It Up. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Pamela. DIY Gardening. Real Talk Topics. Cooking and mixing in the kitchen. Travel and trips. On the water, on the plane, on the road, on the train. Come on now. This is Price Mixing It Up. Get into it. Look at that little couple on the swing. And look at this couple on the counter. What do we have? Huh? What do we have? Come on. We got some sage from the garden. Okay. I just picked it and rinsed it off. Sage. I'm thinking about using it on my meal for tonight. And we've got some basil. Okay. Doesn't look good. So I'm just going to give you an update here on what Price Mixing It Up is doing. Can I get a woot woot? All right. So let's take a look out here, y'all. Update, update, Gardening Chronicles. This is season three. There's that lemon, Meyer Dwarf, Meyer Lemon Dwarf. This palm got transplanted from the ground. So I had for the Price family over. They had to help me, my family, my son, my daughter-in-law. Yeah, this palm didn't make it. Those succulents are still hanging in there. So here's the garden. Here's an update. These tomatoes, I am trying to figure it out, but I thought it was just mine, but I saw um, my family's tomato plants and they're doing the same. It has been 115 degrees out here. Okay, collard greens, they are deteriorating. What I'm gonna do is cut them down. The squash, zucchini, just took over. This pepper plant had a predator on it. It all the leaves off. Okay, so I'm trying to see what's happening here. I used some neem oil and sprayed them. There's the other tomato plant. The tomatoes are still growing. So here's the zucchini. What's the story? Well, this one got uprooted from the ground somewhat. And today it was hanging way over the box. So what I did was I just put this here to kind of contain it, but it's not going to grow this way. I believe I'm going to have to pull it up and replant it, put it in the ground properly. But however, it's still um, sprouting fruit, as you can see. It's being watered on the drip system daily. Um, that's another plant back there. As you can see, the leaves are two different colors, right? So uh, we've got quite a few ants out here. I'm going to get something to put on those. we got some flowers in here. Here's another plant. There's four plants in this box, but two are doing all the work. Okay. So the spearmint is bolting. I just did a nice little cutout of some spearmint. My neighbor wanted some. Um, there's the sage. The basil is just absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And this is the garden box from distance. It's quite long. Yeah. This one I built from Home Depot. Uh, bricks here, Home Depot wood. Just had it cut to my specifications. It's quite long. It's an oblong size. And this works for me. Now, somehow I think because of the how hot it is, and we didn't anticipate that, I should have put it against the wall over here. But we're going to do what we're doing right here for now. Um, this is Gardening Chronicles. This jade is doing very nice. Roses still need to be trimmed. And let's take a look over here. Um, these two plants I brought back from the front. Um, this one I had planted in the ground. And so with the pot, right? If you remember that, that episode, if not, look at it. I just dug a hole, put the pot in the ground. And so when I was ready to take it up from the ground, I just pulled the pot up. Yep, that easy gardening. This is one that I got from a person moving out of our area. It was in the front, but it was way too hot up there. So uh, resurrecting this one back here in a cooler uh, climate and environment. All right. My son 
for the Price family, constructed this box. It's very nice, a tri-level garden box. And what I chose to do was um, put some succulents in it. And these have grown from just little pieces of shavings. And they're coming up quite nicely. So this will be a miniature succulent garden. And I'm probably will add some to it or just wait and see what's happening over here. All right, it's all about the butterflies of price mixing it up. Oh, this is my area that when I feel like I pretend I'm off on vacation. <laughs> uh huh. Aloe vera going quite nicely. Put a little piece of jade in that one. It's coming up. This is my vacation spot. My bird of paradise, like I said, has been 110, 115. We took it out of the pot, took the palm plant from here, put the bird of paradise here. Uh, so it's got some brown leaves on it. I'm going to trim, now that I can get out here, uh, it's bearable weather right now. Box trees, succulent garden, geranium has just about dried. Uh, gotta do a lot of clipping here some work yeah everything is pretty dried the hot sun no complaints y'all thank the lord for the weather um so got a lot of work to do and i hope it's cool tomorrow so i can get back out here here's the other bird of paradise so uh in the other videos previous videos um maybe season three episode one uh, the Bird of Paradise were in pots, and I just left them in pots for like two months. So now they're in the ground. The two palm plants you saw earlier, one in a big pot, one is a brown in a, another pot. Those two were in the ground here and over there, way over there where that Bird of Paradise is. They did not survive. One did, one didn't. So I thought I'd try the Bird of Paradise since it does survive in hot weather and needs lots of sun, lots of water. And the air aloe vera on the hill there is doing quite well. Here's the rose garden. All right, y'all. Look at that. Just growing so well. Last video, I trimmed it down. So it's time to trim it again. But look, just so nice. Um, so what do we do with this hot weather? We just keep plugging, just keep growing, keep watering, keep clipping, keep doing what we do. We're gardeners, right? Get into it, y'all. We're gardeners, okay? Gardeners for life. All right, this is Price mixing it up. I'll see you in the garden again real soon. Can I get a whoop, whoop? Thank you for checking in with Price mixing it up. Remember to make it a great day. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Can I get a whoop whoop?